All right, what's poppin' YouTube? Your boy Marcus here. Um, let me just make sure I have all my settings. Yeah, it's your boy Marcus the boss. I'm like, I'm a little tight because OU decided to steal Azel. Because when you play OU and uh, when you oh, this boy is, this boy is a Yuxi. When you play OU and UU, it's kind of annoying because I don't play anyone UU because RU and OU are both thieves. So I'm like, I'm, I'm not using the Meta Chain team. I am not using this stupid Meta Chain team. Freaking Umbreon offense out here. I am not using this. And then I realized that, oh, the other two teams I want to use both have Azel and NU or OU just stole them. Selby is no counter. I have not I'm the leader. Probably like, okay, we jump. Why wouldn't I'm just gonna B pass, just straight baton pass into Swamper and throw these rocks up. He's probably going for his web, even though I actually I'm not gonna throw these rocks up because I'm just gonna like defog them two turns. I'm gonna defog them. I'm gonna like defog them two turns later. He's actually infestation, which is really bad. I'm gonna roar so he doesn't trap me. If he wants to pull a really stupid, he just knocks off my lefties. That's whatever. Swampert's not doing much in this battle, honestly. In comes Yuxi. Um. I don't know what to go into. I, I'm gonna go into Umbreon because that should be a pretty hard stop to it. He's actually calm mine. So I'm gonna baton pass into Bandit Snorlax and click uh, return before this gets out of hand. I wouldn't stay in here with my Uxie. I also wouldn't run calm mine Uxie in a tier that has Cresselia in it. He does switch, so I get off another baton pass. I can go right into Celebi. Ice Punch can't Oko me. I have minus five or minus two speed. I just said minus five. But I'll go right for the Giga Drain. He actually ice punched. Okay, I'm actually still faster, and he did ice punch. So I don't know why this is the world's slowest uh, Swampert. I'm just gonna click Psychic. He oh well, he's gonna be he's probably faster than me now. So I'm gonna double out into my Swampert. As he actually saves it, who? I need these freaking. I don't know why he would save it. Like, you were gonna outspeed me because uh, you just mega evolved. But okay, homeboy. Okay, homeboy. If you wanna do that? I'm gonna, like, throw out another baton pass. If he stays in to do something stupid, he's calm mind toxic. Oh, I have inner focus. Which is kind of dumb, but, like. Okay, I'm gonna predict him to toxic again and click facade. If he clicks toxic, this will work in my favor and I'll look like a god and he'll go in a. Yep. And his normal is- Oh! Nice crit. Beautiful crit. I'm gonna click Psychic again. Or... Yeah, I probably could've also switched out to dodge the Psyshark. But it's whatever. Crobat are big threat. Not even a big threat. Just... Pokemon that he was gonna be- Play really annoyingly with is gone. Double Crobat. He probably clicked Waterfall. He actually clicked Sewer Power, so I look pretty nice there. Um, I could U-turn. He can't kill me with minus one attack, so I'm gonna defog. If he goes in the swamp, but I'm clicking Brave Bird because he has. Um, he actually already goes in Shuffle, which is actually really dope. He's not Ah, ha, ha. He's contrary Shuffle. If he has Shell Smash, I'm gonna be really mad. Okay, on Why would you Encore? I was gonna outspeed you. I'm gonna click with Forward. Yeah, it Okay. Brought out Selby. Of course it did. Selby is broken, has no counter. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, lame Jones is to why I'm not why this isn't in my favor. Go to Umbreon, see what he clicks. He clicks... Why does he have Calm Mind on every single Pokemon? I'm actually just gonna click Foul Play. Synchronize or Heal Bell would be really nice to have. But I want to pass the Baton, dude. Slow Baton Pass, if he stays into Attack Me, I should actually just switch, but I'm gonna do this. He's either switching, clicking Recover, or Earth Power again before Calm Mind again. I didn't think he'd Earth Power again. That was like the last thing I'd do in that situation. Let's just go into Crobat. Cool story, Brobat. Uh, click Calm Mind, or uh, U-Turn actually. Crit didn't matter at all. Um, go into Metacham. You should probably bait in his mind chat now that I think about it. If he goes to Chuckle, I'm smashing the high jump kick button. Like it, like it was a like button. Kingdra, I don't know what Kingdra's gonna do. I'll probably just sack Metacham if he sends out Kingdra. He actually goes Mind Chow. Which can't Oko me, as sad as that is. Big out Mind Shot wasn't good. He probably has it anyway. I also have no switch into high jump kick because Mind Shot was no counters. Can I stop saying that as my excuse as to why these Pokemon beat my team? Oh, and uh, Swampert doesn't do much this game. It really doesn't. His, his Swampert's at one. 
It takes like one HJK from this. That's about what it does. Oh, he's SD. He's the real set. He's the real set. Oh no, I have a um. I have nothing to worry about. I have a. Yeah, I have a Crobat. I'm just gonna get on my rocks. He's actually drain punch, but I have a Crobat, so. I now Swampert's dead, Kingdra will be taken a bit, uh, will be getting worn down by that. He actually SD'd again, which is a really... not what I had to do there, but he did it! Um, yeah. We're actually... I didn't think we'd be back this quickly, but we are, so that's pretty nice. I am just going to click Brave Bird, smash the Brave Bird button. I think I said smash the High Jump Kick button when I clicked, when I sent out Metachan. And it's basically the same story here, we're gonna find Brave Bird. I am Sky Plate, if you were wondering. You know, y'all probably saw that. Out in the king, y'all. And Crobat, can, I can really just click Brave Bird. Do nice 72, as long as he doesn't send anything up. Okay, he just goes right for the Hydro. And I don't know if Bullet Punch kills with Celebi out of speeds. So this is gonna be a... I'm just gonna click Psychic. Should kill that. He goes into Shuckle, I'm actually gonna just, um... Nasty Plum, no, I'm not gonna Nasty Plum, he's gonna take 50, or er, 25, Shuckle has no recovery. I'm actually gonna double in Medicham, or not double, just switch into Medicham. And smash the high jump cake button, because I didn't get to use Medicham in this match. I don't know why I'm using Medicham, to be honest with you. I didn't want to use this team up, he was horrible. He knew Shuckle would have died to HJK. And then the high jump kick would have came out later, or right after that. So, let's hop into another one here. This boy has Mono Fossil. He has six potential stealth rockers and six potential leads. Um, Swampert walls like five at not five. It walls it walls it, uh, it can, I want to keep it healthy mainly for arrow. Then Rampart is gonna be a huge pain, but I have Celebi and Minijam, so it's I'm gonna lead Omrion. If he leads Armstar, I'm gonna click foul play. Because if he shell smashes, he'll look like a I'll look like a god is this oh It was a crit and only did 40. Well um, it's an Omrion, I'm gonna take any hit anyway. I don't know what item he is, probably Sash. Judging by the way he led with it, and Surf does a lot because Omstar has no counters at plus two. But we're back in it. Um, I mean, it's dead, so it doesn't matter. Here comes Auroras. Which I'm gonna, like, protect. Oh, I'm not gonna protect. I could go Snorlax here. I'm just gonna throw up a Wish, because I don't think he can Oko me. He's actually slower than me. Why is he slower than me? Why is he slower than me? Or, yeah, why is he the, the world's slowest Auroras? And you're sending up to this when I have a Magic Hand that you can't switch into, and a thick fat Snorlax that'll kill you with CVEQ unless you're like. Dude, I'm gonna start running Heavy Slant. Like, he froze me! I'd care if I had a Magic Hand, but like, still, that's still kind of bullcrap, bro. Oh, he's one of these names. Watch. If, I, if he. Wait, is he gonna Blizzard again? I don't want to switch into, like, okay, well, Umbreon's not beating anything, so I'm going to sack Umbreon. Okay, he's just going to be this nigga who sets up to the moon just because he cause he got lucky as dicks. Okay, I'm going to th throw up a wish. Like, I'd care so much if I didn't have a Metacham just waiting to click a move after you die, spam. So, like, I'm, you know what? I, I, could, I care so little right now. I'm going to throw up a wish and heal myself. Okay, never mind. He did that. He made a somewhat decent play, but it doesn't save the fact. And from the fact that there's a Metacham on the screen, and something on his team also just dies now, because Metacham don't play no games. Thank you for hitting base guard Metacham out here. I know. That could have potentially been bad, but we rallied ourselves back in it because I'm a god. Here comes Aerodactyl. I don't know if that's supposed to be a pun, but if it is, it's a god awful one. Slight bars there. I'm gonna sack Snorlax, which I wouldn't have to do if it didn't get frozen, but lucky players. I'm gonna click Facade, so I can, like, use that while I'm frozen. He actually, once again, taking advantage of his bullcrap luck to... Like, I... I, I can't really hate when people do that, because I do that my fair share. I don't actually do that at all. And I'm gonna predict him to go into Cray Dilly, because he shouldn't stay in with his Aerodactyl at all. And double into Metacham. And he actually does it, I didn't think he would, so as long as he doesn't have Protect, something else just dies here. And that makes me really happy. Um, I'm gonna save Metacham, because it kinda like... I'm gonna, I should, I don't know if I should save it or put BP. Aerodactyl is a huge threat, because it's Snorlax, because Umbreon. And Snorlax combo kinda got bullcrapped out of the game. And I don't want Swampert getting worn down too quickly. And Crobat doesn't do anything. 
Yeah. Although getting rid of the rocks would have also been really nice. I'm a defon in case he's something stupid like he will, because he's, he's a lucky player. And, uh, yeah, he actually actually doubled. I didn't think he'd double, especially not into right Pardos, because, one, I'm gonna click Skyplay Brave Bird. It's gonna do a lot, because my Pardos doesn't resist. Like, it resists, but, like, it... You guys know how it's Wolf B that does a lot. He's AV. No, he's not AV. He's physically defensive, though. Oh, go on to Celebi. I don't know if I live a plus, um, or an Aerial Ace. But if I do, I'm in the clear, because then I can, like, bullet punch Aerodactyl. Because then I can, like, Psychic him in. If I live this, I can Psychic him into... Hey, we live! And he is now... Ooh, Psychic, or... Spideth Drop doesn't matter at all. He should be in bullet punch range, if I'm not mistaken. I'm just gonna click on that real quickly. Um, he probably isn't, and this is probably a huge mistake, but I do have a Swampert that should take out the rest of his guys, and I can always blame this loss on Hacks, because this- Ooh! Bullet Punch looked clean. That was a little too quick, but I saw it. It looked pretty crisp. And now T-Rex should lose to this high jump kick. It's just gonna get smashed, like it was a like button. And that was it! And he leaves. Not bad. Medicham actually put in hella work, despite being Medicham in UU. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys with the next one.